Simply Erica back with you guys once again for a wig review. I know I've been gone for a week. Sorry, just been um, stressed with school and all that. College kids, you know my struggle. So don't worry, I'm back with you guys with another wig review and it's something really amazing. I already told you guys how fascinated I was with my first Friday night hair unit, but luckily I was able to partner up with Friday Night Hair, I reached out to them and I said, you know, I would like to review one of your units. And they gave me the opportunity to review one of their units. So I have the GLS01. And we're going to do an unboxing and I'm also gonna help you guys on how to make it realistic because it is a braided wig. This took me all the way back to middle school days when I saw this because they're micro braids with the crinkles at the end. Girls, um, if you about my age, uh, I'm 22. You remember back in early 2000 when you were middle school rocking these and you thought she was the stuff with the hoop earrings and you had it up in a hot top bun and all that. This was the type of wig or hair <laughs> braids that everyone had. They were popping, y'all. Look how realistic this looks. It looks like it starts from the scalp. I can't wait to cut it and, you know, blend it and just make it look real. And look, it has the crinkles. I'm so excited. So, we're going to get right into it. So, I have officially cut the lace off. Look at the inside construction of this wig, y'all. Look how realistic that looks. I know when I put it on my head, it's just gonna blend right in with my skin tone. So I'm really liking how they braided it to the root. You know, with these other box braid wigs, they kind of just did it track by track and um, really didn't take the time to make it look as realistic as if it was growing out of your scalp. Um, so you can do that uh, slick back type of braids look. You don't have to necessarily pull it forward to cover the hairline. You're getting a good, decent amount of lace. It is hard lace, I will say that, ladies, no soft lace. Um, so there's that. And you're also gonna get the adjustable straps. So if you need to make it tighten or loose, you may do so. But I'm going to add my powder on it to, you know, so it can kind of blend in my skin tone. So let's do that. put the baby's hair baby hair out y'all could not even tell this is a wig it looked like somebody just snatched my edges it looks so real the construction is there like oh oh let me get into the it. texture of this wig feels so soft really soft I can run my hands through her now but here's the thing though y'all remember when these braids are out and you know they look good for a minute because you know the hair is crinkly it was new it was smooth it flowed in the wind just like this but now over time you guys know with this being a synthetic unit and that the braids are of course synthetic um the hair is probably going to tangle up over time what does the wig look like in the back all right let me show you 
All right, so unfortunately you're not gonna get any lace throughout the unit. Um, the lace actually stops about back here. And that's how far I put my concealer. Let me explain this to you. When you're putting on a braided wig, this is not something you can just throw on and go. It does not work like that. You have to take your time. Here's the thing about wigs. You have to make it look real. I don't care what color it is. Make it look like it's growing out of your scalp. You have to own it. You know, braids are our thing. So you really have to own it and make it look like you just sat in that chair for six hours and cozy pookie and then did your hair, TT and them did your hair. You know, you have to make it look that realistic. And the good thing about it, it's only $50. Only $50. You don't have to pay hair. You don't have to, you know, sit in a chair a long time to get the braids done. It just looks so well put together that it just looks like you did all that. Friday night, I gotta give you a got props. Y'all really showed out. Y'all done giving me Moesha theme vibes, which is where I got this little thing from. Um, just early 2000, Destiny's Child. Uh, I'm getting all of these vibes from this hair. And it looks so good. Now, as far as shedding, I haven't gotten any of that. Overall, ladies, I'm so happy with it. It's at a great length. This comes to my breast area. I'm about 5'4", um, you know, a little short girl. Uh, so it's long, uh, feels pretty thick, very realistic. Another benefit of it is, you know, it's a great everyday wig, but just keep in mind that it probably will nap up. But like the real braids, you just gotta take care of them. Spray them, um, all that. I'm just really impressed. Like I said, I will leave a uh, link for you guys to buy down below. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill, ladies. Bye.